Hello, everyone. This is Renee, and welcome to our show today. This is Word and Music Inspirations with Renee. And today we want to inspire you to move on a little bit further in your life. It is the first Friday of 2018, and we are going to discuss fear, overcoming our fears, which are pretty much all in the mind, but the mind is who we are. So it's pretty powerful. What we think in our minds can actually manifest or will actually manifest in reality because the flesh or carnality is a denser substance that is very similar to the substance that is involved with thought. The energy involved with thought is similar to the energy that is involved with the physical, only it's denser and the physical is older because it first starts with thought. And that is why it is highly important that we conquer fear. So we are going to start off with a quote from Ian Van Zant. It says, breathing deeply and releasing fear will help you get to where you want to be. Breathing deeply and releasing fear will help you get to where you want to be. And it may actually help you to visualize what you think fear looks like. To me, fear looks like a dark, smoky cloud, something that blocks your way, makes you cough, fills your lungs so that you cannot breathe. That is how I see fear. And there are some who are proponents of fear, saying that fear keeps you safe, Fear helps you to stay out of trouble or painful situations. Well, I beg to differ. I feel like if you let something in like that, it can take over. And I've seen it happen in other people. And at my age, I feel like my thoughts about that are trustworthy. And I want to give you another inspirational quote from Sagewood Wellness Center. I think this is a beautiful quote. It actually says, all healing is essentially a release from fear. So they propose that if you need to be healed or if you're manifesting a physical illness, there is some fear that's within you that has caused this. Now, I've heard someone else say this with regard to weight gain. There are women who have been accosted or who have not been treated well because of their beauty And as a result of the fear of being used or abused, their bodies will gain weight despite what they eat. Their metabolisms will actually slow down to accommodate this weight gain just so that they don't draw attention. Wow, that's a pretty hefty thing. As we motivate you, anything that we say having to do with health, um, medical care, please see a health professional, if you have symptoms that you are concerned about, or if you feel that you need to um, take care of something that is wrong with your body, see a medical physician and use these inspirations and motivations to help you in your mind's eye, but use a physical professional for your medical health. All right. Now, Louise Hay from Hay House Publishers has a wonderful saying It is actually an affirmation for releasing fear and anger to achieve healing to include weight loss. And I think this one is very important. I'm actually going to say this one myself. All is well. Everything is working out for my highest good. Out of this experience, only good will come. I am safe. Wow. All it takes sometimes is for us to feel safe. And this happens when we surround ourselves with loving people, when we have a strong spiritual life, where whether it be our guides or traditional church that we hold on to with our spiritual beliefs. And when we release old fears and belief systems that no longer serve and are used to feed fears that should be going away. Simplereminders.com has another quote that I'd love to present to you guys. The conflicts we have with the outside world are often conflicts we have with ourselves. And I always say, this is from Bryant McGill. I always say that the world is our mirror. 
If you find that something is coming to you now, let's keep in mind a child who has gone through a pedophile situation, that child did not do anything to draw that to themselves. So please hear me in the right paradigm. Now that may be something that has been set up because of somebody else's issue and you got caught up in their issue, but it set up a fear inside of you. Let people have their beingness, allow people to have their beingness. And what I mean by that is specifically for those who have suffered childhood trauma that have caused current fears. Sometimes we have to realize and accept that people have done things that are not right to us. And we have to then do the work to release ourselves from the actions of those people when it is within our power to do so. When it's in your power to do so, release yourself from that conflict. Yes, sometimes there are things that other people will do and they will drop their baggage, their luggage, their trash into our yards. And what do we do? Do we wait for them to come back and clean it up? No, we have to go put on some gloves, get some bags and tools and go out and clean our yards. And sometimes we may even put a safety fence around to keep others from doing the same. And we have to do the same thing in our spiritual lives and in our emotional lives, protect ourselves without putting up fearful walls, but just the typical protection. There's a Bible scripture that says we must guard our hearts for out of it flows the issues of life. And there is nothing wrong with that. You don't have to cast your pearl to swine when you get into the power of handling that. Now, I hope that some young person who has dealt with someone else's pain will listen to this and begin to put things in place to clear their own chakra energies, to do the work, the meditative work, to clear their mind of the things that cause them pain, to recognize through the mirror of the universe when someone else is coming into their life and are doing the same things that others have done previously. And it is now time for us to stop, look, and listen to what our spirit guides are saying for how we can clear our hearts. And yes, even if you don't know what to do, if you were to just get up early one morning or either stay up late at night when most of the people in your environment are resting or asleep and just say, you know, I need to get some answers. This is my issue. This is my specific issue. And I need answers for that. You will hear answers. Yes, you will. Because you are not alone in this universe. Universe. Nelson Mandela in success.com has a quote about facing fears because they do exist and we're not going to pretend like they don't exist. Nelson Mandela says, I learned that courage was not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. The brave man is not he who does not feel afraid, but he who conquers that fear. Are you willing to conquer your fears today? Are you ready for that to be over? Kushand Wisdom, Wisdom with a Z, says fear kills more dreams than failure ever will. You know, some people are afraid of failing, but some people are afraid of even getting started. So their dreams have no way of coming back to life because a head full of fears has no space for dreams. And it looks like Zig Ziglar has something wonderful to say. F-E-A-R has two meanings. Forget everything and run or face everything and rise. The choice is yours. I love that from Zig Ziglar. So now it's time for us to face our fears. So let's do some intuitive confessions today. And you can listen to this podcast as much as you need to, to get these sayings, this inspiration, this motivation into your spirit. I have concerns, but I will not allow my concerns or my fears to stop me or to paralyze me from pursuing my dreams. I know that everything will be okay. 
so I should keep moving and rising above all those things that have come to keep me down. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. You can rest assured that if you relax and open your eyes and see your life as a book that's unfolding, see the universe and the surrounding atmosphere as a mirror of your own mind and begin to act on those shamanic observations in order to improve your life and to become your best self. Sometimes it's going to take finances to go back to school, to do the things that you want to do. If you really want it, the opportunities will come. The doors will open. We ask the universe to open the doors so that we can act upon our dreams as we release our fears. Be sure to come back and let me know in the comment section how your fears have been released and how the universe has responded to you for opening up to pursue your dreams. Take care. Bye-bye.